This is the Life Journey Podcast with Quentin, a.k.a. Q Gauze No Days Off. From on the field and off the field, NFL player and entrepreneur. Motivating you to be the best you can be and getting you out of your comfort zone. Sharing with you travel, sports, and entrepreneurial tips with amazing guests on the show. Now, get ready for your life to change with the Life Journey Podcast and your host, Quentin Gauz. What's up, everybody? This is Quentin Gauz with the Life Journey Series. We're here with Nino Blue. Nino, what's good? What's up with you? What's up? Doing well, man. Hey, this is the third episode of the Life Series. Um, back in action again after a couple months off. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a long time, but we're back. So, you know, Nino, we got you know we got actually a couple questions, man. I see you got a lot of thing, cool things going on. A couple of videos that you released. Yeah, no, I got a lot more too. I got a lot, a lot coming on. Okay. Coming on. Wow. Okay. Um. And, and uh, so we go first. Start off like, where'd you grow up? You know, how'd you get into music, and where you looking to go? Well, I grew up here. Mostly, all my life, you know, I've been I've been traveling from here down south, out there, down south, down south, to mm. Miami, you feel okay, me? out there in Florida, my pops and shit. How I got into making music, it's always been around me. Like I always seen people freestyling, I always seen people beatboxing on stairways and shit back in the day with my dad and shit. All right. So. It's like I was shy back then, you know what I'm saying? I was in a shell, I was like a little turtle. But anytime they they used to drift off and shit, I always used to find myself freestyling. Mm. You know what? And then I got into poetry, started transitioning my poetry into into like with it on a beat. After mm-hmm. that, it's just I got into writing music. Got into a studio one year. I think I was like 16. It's the year after my aunt passed away. I went out to New York City, had met her. What's up, everybody? This is Quentin Goss with the Life Journey Series. We're here with Nino Blue. Nino, what's good? What's up with you? What's up? Doing well, man. Hey, this is the third episode of the Life Series. Um, back in action again after a couple months off. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a long time, but we're back. So... You know, Nino, we got actually, you know, we got actually a couple questions, man. I see you got a lot of thing, cool things going on. A couple videos that you released. Yeah, I got a lot more too. I got a lot, a lot coming on. Okay. Coming on. Wow. Okay. Um, and, and so we go first. Start off like, where'd you grow up? You know, how'd you get into music, and where you looking to go? Well, I grew up here mostly all my life. You know, I've been I've been traveling from here down south. Out there, that down south, down south, to mm. Miami. You feel okay. Me? Out there in Florida, my pops and shit. How I got into making music, it's always been around me. Like I always seen people freestyling, I always seen people beatboxing on stairways and shit back in the day with my dad and shit. All right. So it's like I was shy back then. You know what I'm saying? I was in a shell, I was like a little turtle, but. Anytime they they used to drift off and shit, I always used to find myself freestyling. Mm. You know what? And then I got into poetry, started transitioning my poetry into into like with it on a beat. After mm-hmm. that, it's just I got into writing music. Got into a studio one year. I think I was like 16. It's the year after my aunt passed away. I went out to New York City, had met up, met up with the family again, basically like reunited. Mm-hmm. And afterwards, they had got me into the studio in Florida. I went out there with my pops. It was this nice little studio. First time I've ever been in a studio like that, you feel me? Yeah. Met up with my cousin, and he started getting me on a bus to go out there to New York City. Yeah. You feel me? And I was in Manhattan recording for a while. And that shit just like it changed me too, you know what I'm saying? Just going back and forth, actually being able to see shit, actually being able to do other things that you know what I'm saying right. that, that I'm not used to doing. Just being being able to see that there's more out there than just Rochester itself, you know what I'm saying? Right. And let people know where Rochester, what New York, right? Yeah, Rochester, okay, New you got York, people around the world listening. Yeah, yeah. So that's I mean, so man, being exposed to like a different, obviously it's a different state. I mean, well, you're in the same state, but like you were in a bigger city. So it's like, do you feel like when you're in Rochester, it's like a, you're a big fish in a small pond sometimes? I wouldn't say that. What I'll say is, is just like, 
Rochester's small, period. You right. can you can travel Rochester in thirty <laughs> minutes. You feel me? <laughs> right. So it's like every it's it's like a small town type. Everybody knows everybody basically. Or everybody knows of everybody. You know True. what I'm saying? So it's like in New York City, everybody's just so you feel me diverse. Everybody's mm. doing their own thing. You can see somebody in a cowboy hat doing a little dance running around in a circle but there's people just walking right past him like he just doing his own thing right. you know what I'm saying that's that's the thing that I like about New York City in this city people so judgmental you know what I'm saying so true people so judgmental bro and that's the thing that's eating it up no cap just mm. let people be done people live that's so, I feel you so, so like so like, do you feel like when people are negative, like it's hard for like, so like you got young kids out here that want to be rappers or athletes and stuff, or I wanna, encourage you, want to be lord. But like, do you think like sometimes in our town, and our, we have a good, great town, but like, do you feel like sometimes some people won't like down kind of, what I'm trying to say, kind of downplay what they're doing or trying to? People, yeah, I know a lot of people would. Yeah, I know a lot of people. I know other people that would. You feel me? But that's them. Hey, it's gonna be that shining light, right? Yeah. I feel you. So let me ask you this question: You know what motivates you each day? What gets you up in the morning to do what you do? And where do you see yourself going with this? Man, I'll tell you, man. That image that I just saw right there, <laughs> smile. You feel me? I'm gonna lie to you, bro. I see big things, bro. I see big things. So I keep telling myself, you know what I'm saying? There's always a sunny day after a storm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Things been kind of dark lately, you know what I mean? But I know something coming, bro. All this work that I've been putting in, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. The fact that I work so hard and I see myself still, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making I'm making progress. That's the only reason why I'm keeping going, you right. know what I'm saying? But the fact that I'm seeing it go so slowly, it makes me want to go harder every day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Hearing the criticism, hearing, hearing everything that comes back, the feedback, Makes me crying, bro. Like I'm trying to tell you. Right. Like, I got people telling me sometimes that they put on my music to make them feel better. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They 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 relate to it that much, bro. That shit gets me, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. It makes me keep going. And, and that you know what's that? That they always talk about like patience. A lot of people like are impatient with the process. You know. I've been doing this for a while though, so I've been. I mean, I'm patient. You feel me? Patience is the virtue. You feel me? All right. I've been patient. Everybody got their time. I feel you. Do you feel like nowadays, like you got Instagram, Facebook, and stuff that's like showing success already? So like people are so motivated that they think it comes like that. What, what do you think about that? I mean, it may come like that to some people, right. but honestly, that's how I feel. Like that's how a lot of people just just put it out there. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like everybody's been doing what they've been doing for a while. No one just made one song and then they just pop. Right. They've been making music before that. No matter if they dropped the music or not, they've been doing music. You True. know what I'm saying? Nobody's just hopped in the studio. <laughs> like, I'm just about to make a track. Right? <laughs> and then, you know what I'm and saying? That shit pops. just grew. <laughs> and then they just started dropping album after album. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Bro. It's a process. So, it's, a, it's a process. It takes time. You that's, feel me? Nobody, nobody came out the womb running. Yeah. And you you learn everything you see, you speaking right now is as well as you can. You feel me? You taught yourself that, bro. Everybody can. That's true. You can do anything you want to want to do. It just take practice, repetition. Respect, respect, man. What's your process when you're in the studio? Um, I know a lot of artists make. I know like listening to Logic, he did like a, he always made songs on the road. He was like a hundred songs. Within a year, kept making like this mad songs in the bank. Shit, I mean, hundred songs in a year. I got. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't. I'm making more than that, bro. I respect. That's. I made. Grinding. I wake up. I wake up daily, bro. I got a track in mind. It's just cause like you go through shit daily. Right. You feel me? If you can't get an idea of something in your life that you can make a song about daily, mm-hmm. at least a a small topic that can attract somebody else that's relating to you and you're not really doing nothing mm. you know what i'm saying so, so like the, the artists that i mean artists making money making tracks don't really do nothing sometimes but do you feel like um artists like that i mean you got the main you with your mainstream music and then you got your you know like your j cole's like nah, it's so good like that. I feel what do you think is a balance 
I feel like like what do you mean by that? So you know like you were just talking about like music that relates to people or yeah. what they're going through. Yeah. What, what do you feel like you're that so you're saying are you the artist that like you know you're hitting the emotion button on people when they listen to you all the time or are you an artist that's like you know I'm just doing this more for you know I'm just gonna, money like I'm just saying like there's a balance yeah. is there a balance you know what I'm saying? Mean, it's a balance but I'll let you know like a lot of a lot of my music that I didn't I don't put out you feel me? That's more of a music that that I really attack with with me. You know what I mean? I see. The music that I've been dropping recently is more of the catchy. You know what I'm saying? Attracting. I see. The the crowd right now type. Right, right. But you know what I mean? So lately I've been making music for people, but this this song "Bruise" that we about to do the video to and shit like that. Mm -hmm. That video right there, that, that song right there, it actually has something to it. You know what I mean? The the whole. <laughs> background behind the song i could dissect that song for you and it's just you know what i mean right. so we go we go actually <laughs> listen to that song right now i'll right, go, go ahead listen to a little bit of it and i want you kind of die yeah i want you to dissect a little bit what, what we listening to all right, all right all right life journey series crowd let's listen up yeah i told i'm done trying to wave you already i told i'm done Told I'm done, and I some new shit, but I never lie, we have some fun. I never lie, we have some fun, yeah. I told I'm done, and I some new shit, but I never lie. That's my tag, two rage. Okay. Let's see you keep going. Let's see you keep going. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I BB close for the bottle, boy. But now nah, let's keep. Let's let's talk about this track. All right, let's talk about. I want to dissect everything <laughs> right, let's, that let's, we already got. Let's dissect. Got done. You let's, feel me? Let's dissect. So, all right, from the beginning of the track, bro. As you can see, if you play the beginning, play the beginning of the track real quick. Right, so see. I just want I want to get this in tune with y'all. You feel me? All right. These is the voices. All right. Yeah. He's the voice of you feel me? Basically my conscience, you gonna hear it. I told him do me? I see. And then it's gonna this is before the intro. I chopped it up. I see. Alright. So pause it. The whole the whole track is basically me telling me telling somebody, me getting to somebody that that's done. It's over. You feel me? You hear the clock, you hear the, you hear you hear people even telling me, my voice is telling me it's just done. You feel me? And mm. that, that ties in with rage. That's why it's kind of a darker, you know what I'm saying? A darker a darker voice, a darker persona. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I go into telling you about basically cause I, the People just don't get it sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, people just don't understand sometimes. When somebody actually gives a fuck, you feel me, actually cares, you know what I mean? Sometimes people take advantage of it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, after it's all said and done, and you actually do, you know what I'm saying, the clock runs out. You just like, fuck it, I'm done, you know mm -hmm. I'm mean? moving on. Mm -hmm. Type shit. That's when shots start being thrown whole you know what I'm saying it's like it's like now it's a whole different case right you can't be that so as I told her I'm done on some new shit but I never lie we have some fun you feel me no I'm the one kick it like Jet Li I don't want to fight I keep a gun that's let that's just letting them know like bro like I'm not fighting with nobody you feel me I'm not fighting with no other person you go ahead do you you feel me yeah, it's, that's your life, no. Nah, right. You know what I mean? I ain't in control of nothing. You know what I'm saying? But my own. 
So if anybody got problems, bro, I'm not about to fight. You feel me? Mm. You know, but we can kick it like Jet Li. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm letting people yeah. know that I keep that, keep that. Yeah, we gon' yeah. And then I don't want to kick it like Jet Li. I don't want to fight. I'm like, uh. And then um, I talk about how she's confused. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and basically, bro, the time takes, but you gonna blow, you know, like a fuse. And then at the end, it's just telling her, like, I'm on some new shit, bro. Mm. I'm on some new shit. So, so she do, she done wasted your time, like. I feel nah, you, you, a whole bunch of time. I ain't even gonna hold you a whole it. bunch of time. Dang. You know what I mean? But this was in the cut. To you know, be honest, music is so strong. The energy is so strong with the universe of music, bro. And I really believe in this, bro, for, for like a fact. Right. When they tell you to watch out for what you write and what you preach in your music, you know what I'm saying, and what you actually record and lay down, it's something to just think about it. You know what I'm saying? But when you actually speak upon it, and you record it, you listen to it, you listen to it, you listen to it, you listen to it. You actually repeating it. You saying it to the universe mm. type shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to happen. Bro, no cap. And I made a lot of tracks even before a lot of shit happened that right. I'm actually going to release. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And it tells a story. Basically, like, yo, bro, this is how it happened. And it's crazy because I look back on a lot of these songs and I used to wonder, like, why am I feeling this way right now? You know what I'm saying? When I'm writing a song, when I'm actually yeah. making a song. I used to ask myself, why why, do I, why am I right. doing this? Right. You feel me? But the song would be fire. So I'd be bumping it. I'm actually showing it. You feel me? Yeah, right. And the next thing you know, bro, now I'm looking back on this shit like, damn, I feel this shit about like 20 times more, bro. Like, this shit hitting home right now. Now it's not fire. It's hitting home. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm trying to tell you, bro. Wow. That's it. That, that was awesome. That, that's an awesome breakdown, first off. Because I, I haven't really, I, I've seen some artists on Genius, you know, on YouTube, and I hear some of their breakdown. But that was really comprehensive. I mean, you really, that's that's the inside, like, what your mind is telling you. Like, you're you're explaining some of your, what's, what you're going through in your life. Yeah. Some people, like, really just doing it just for, just to make a song, mm -hmm. you know. I thought that was, that was pretty dope, though. So, like, so. Every track like that. Bro. So, then this song, though, Brew, is like. Was it like a relationship or something that happened? Like, oh, uh, nah, it, was, it, was, it was like, <laughs> nah, but yeah. relationship with you know, every, yeah, it was. You don't have to go in depth, yeah, but you know, yeah, yeah. I, I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. That's that's like I said, bro, I'm done. You feel me? You gonna talk about that, bro? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. but this vid, this vid about to hit home. Oh you yeah, me, man, that oh, shit yeah. about to be fire. The way oh. I got it in my head. Oh yeah, man, it's about to go crazy. Oh man, mm -hmm. all right. All right, we got some clocks ticking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time's up. <laughs> Time's up. I feel you. All right, so we're gonna take a quick break, real quick. We're gonna come right back to you and um, just leave the you know people with a little quote. Uh, Q God's Life Journey Series. We'll be right back. For mature. Learn more about the open beta at callofduty.com. You to get there, all that, all, all the mishaps, all the fails, you feel me? They're not gonna be there once you get there. You feel me? Once you actually, what, what, what attracts you, bro, right. what you want comes back or whatever, you feel me? That's what I mean. So. No, I appreciate that, man. I, I know a lot of people will appreciate what you just said. Hey man, I appreciate you having on you on the show. Like that was you know some really dope stuff. I learned a lot actually from you. I'm, I'm, I'm a type of person you actually gotta talk to, but I understand. You hey, know what I'm saying? Hey. Wow. Hey man. Well, can't wait to see the new video. Um, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. the new video come out. Yeah. It's gonna be popping. Go you know, where? What? Uh, it's gonna be on YouTube and, and also your your music. You know, where can people find your music and also you know let people know about your social? Alright, so um, got the one 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 single on um. Apple, Spotify, or basically any major platform. Only one single. Shit called Go Ghost, you know, Blue, N E N O B L U. Go on YouTube, got over like 22 videos right now, bro. All fire tracks. All fire tracks. You know, Blue, same thing. You feel me? Um, you know, Blue on Instagram, add the underscore. And yeah, bro, we lit. Hey. 
Love it. I love it, man. Make sure you know y'all follow us, man. He's follow his career oh, yeah. as he blows up, and and continue to support him, man. This is awesome stuff. I appreciate you having me on the show. Thank you for listening to the Life Journey Podcast with Quentin Gauze. To find out more and to follow the journey, visit Quentin's Instagram at QGauze or our business page at iron underscore visuals. For full recaps of the show, find us on iTunes and the Google Play Store. Thank you for tuning in.